morning one and all today we are going to solve a problem on the load duration curve and take down this problem a generating station has following daily load cycle time in hours is given that is 0 to 6 hours is 20 megawatt load is 20 megawatt and 6 to 10 is 25 megawatt and time from time 10 to 12 is 30 megawatt and 20 12 to 16 is 25 megawatt and 16 to 20 is 35 megawatt and 20 to 24 is 20 megawatt. This is the uh, time schedule. That is the load cycle they have given. What they asked to do is draw the load curve and find the maximum demand, units generated per day, average load and load factor. First thing is you need to draw the load curve. Load curve drawing is very, very simple. So what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, uh, just mark the whatever the time uh, uh, hours given in the problem. That is 0 to 6, 6 to 10 like that it is given. Uh, generally, you take two to scales. Generally, you take two to scales like this, like uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. These are the time in hours. So in this scale, we are following the load in megawatt. So based on the data, you need to choose this scale. Okay, to choose this, uh, how much uh, divisions you need to follow like that you need to choose. They have given like 20, 20, 20 megawatt, 25 megawatt, 30, 25, 20, 35, 20 like that. So here I'm choosing from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 megawatt. Like that, uh, I'm choosing the load. Clearly, you need to mark the axis clearly. This is in time in this axis is time scale in half. This axis is load axis in megawatt. Next step from the data, you need to plot the load curve. Load curve is very simple. So whatever the data given, just mark. So already given here uh, in the daily load, load cycle scale itself directly given. Sometimes what they will do is uh, the time in hours they will shuffle and give. So whatever it is given, so you need to correctly uh, put it in the order. Then you need, if you draw means it is, it will be very, very easy. So here directly given like zero to six, six to 10, like that directly given. Some, sometimes hours will be uh, like shuffling. They will give uh, first, they will give 10 to 12 hours is 30 megawatt. Next, they will give 20 to 24 hours is 20 megawatt. Like that's in the shuffling they will give. That time what you do is you just, uh, uh, put it in the correct order, uh, whichever the time scale clearly, then you just solve this problem. So here 0 to 6 is 20 megawatt, 6 to 10 is 25 like that. Given. So 0 to 6 is 20 megawatt. So 0 to 6, 0 to 6 hours is 20 megawatt. So you need to mark 20 megawatt here. Next, what is this? 6 to 10 is 25 megawatt. 6 to 10. So 6 to 10 here it is 25 megawatt. So you need to um, mark 25 megawatt. Next, um, given in the problem, 10 to 12 is uh, 30 megawatt given in the problem. So you need to mark 30 megawatt. Next, um, uh, 12 to um, yeah, 16, they have given like 25 megawatt. 12 to 16 is uh, 25 megawatt. So 12 to 16, exactly if you put the scale, so yeah, 12 to 16 is 25 megawatt. Similarly, 16 to 20, yeah. 16 to 20 is 35 megawatt. 16 to 20 is 35 megawatt. So you need to mark 35 megawatt. Next step, what is given in the problem? Yeah, 20 to 24 is a 20 megawatt. 20 to 24, 20 to 24, 20, uh, 20 megawatt. 20 megawatt you need to mark. So now we just uh, did uh, with the load cup. We just did with the load cup. Clearly, you need to write the scale here. Without the scale, uh, whatever you drawn is also wrong. Uh, some uh, evaluators, they will give zero marks without this scale. Because something, if you drawn means without scale, they will give zero marks. So you need to be very, very careful with the scale. Next, what is the maximum demand? Maximum demand, easily you can find out. From this load curve also, easily you can find out. What is the maximum demand? Yeah, it is clearly seen like maximum demand is 35 megawatt or otherwise from the data also you can see so which is maximum that is the maximum demand so here 20 25 30 25 35 20 is there so which is maximum 35 megawatt is the maximum demand so maximum demand directly you can write like 
from the load curve, it is uh, clear the 35 megawatt. Next, they asked uh, um, they determine the uh, units generated per day. Unit generated per day. Unit generated per day is equal to so whatever the load is given into that duration. So load is given as a yeah 20 megawatt. What is the duration? Six from zero to six hours is six um, six hours duration. So 20 into six plus 25 into six to 10 duration is four hours. So 25 into four plus 30 into 10 to 12 means two hours duration. So 30 into two plus 25 into 12 to 16 is four hour duration. So 25 into four. Here, similarly, 35 into plus 35 into 60 to uh, 16 to 20 is four hour duration, 35 into four. So similarly, 20 into four. Like that, you need to do. That is for unit generated for thing. So similarly, we did like this. Uh, and simplifying this, you'll get the answer as 600 megawatt hour. That is the unit generated per day is 600 megawatt hour. Megawatt hour, that is the unit generated per day. Similarly, what they asked in the problem, here they asked average load and load factor. Average load, how to calculate the average load? Average load or average demand is equal to unit generated divided by time in hours. So whatever the unit generated we calculated now, so divided by time in hours is 24. So this uh, 600 divided by 24 is 25 megawatt. So average load or average demand is 25 megawatt. Next, uh, what is the load factor? Load factor also um, formula already. This these formula already previously we just uh, we have seen that also. I will give in the description once you just to go through that uh, uh, the formulas once again. Then you just uh, watch this. Uh, uh, this problem means uh, 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 it will be easily understandable for you. So load factor is equal to average demand divided by maximum demand or average load divided by maximum demand. So average uh, load or demand already we calculated as 25 megawatt. So maximum demand also we calculated previously. So 25 divided by 35 into 100 because load factor always in the terms of percentage. So whatever the is there into 100 you need to multiply. So answer into 100 you'll get the load factor as 71.42 percentage. This is the load factor. This is how um, load is utilized in this, uh, uh, that is a particular cycle. So the load factor is 71.42 percentage. This is the answer. These are the answers for this problem.